I just wanted to do a quick update. I have the new bras and the prosthesis. So you can see I'm more even, although now I think the prosthetic side is a little bit larger. I have to look at that a little bit more closely and see. Um, now that they've sewn the pocket to it, it kind of sits in a different way than when I tried them on without the pocket. So I'm not sure. <laughs> but I wanted to do a little bit about lymphedema. Um, this is one that I had done this and then I lost the video somewhere between uploading it from the phone to the computer so I could edit it. I, I think I deleted it off my phone because I was low on memory for my phone. So, um, oh wow, and I'm wearing the wrong glasses, wouldn't you know? Um, but it says that lymphedema develops or can develop um, either immediately following breast cancer treatment, but sometimes the symptoms don't appear until months or even years afterwards. This is like, great, you know? So you could be three years down the line and all of a sudden develop lymphedema. And I'll put the link down below as to where I found this information. It was a, a link from the, um, the manufacturer of the prosthetic that I'm using. Um, I found it on their website. It linked over to it in a kind of roundabout way. So I'll, I'll put that down below. Um, lymphedema affects one in five women who have had breast cancer treatment. Although usually, I will tell you, usually it's the arm or the leg, like I've said before. Um, it's very rare that it happens in the breast. Um, and despite the, despite the sizable statistic, it seems information about the condition is not consistently provided by healthcare professionals. Hmm. And that's because, or it could be because the focus for a woman's health or a woman's medical team is to cure her breast cancer not as you know it's lymphedema is seen as a mild side effect I guess mild is in the eye of the beholder you know and the beholder being somebody who doesn't have it um, so and it says that many women unaware of the risks and causes are understandably frightened and confused when they first experience the symptoms yeah okay so and it goes down to describe the lymphatic system the fluid um, you know what's happening as I said before the fluid you know because that lymph node is gone the fluid has nowhere to go because it usually circulates through that lymph node and so it it usually goes down the arm sometimes it goes down the body into the leg mine went into the breast oh, look at me um, so the first signs include a feeling of heaviness usually in the arm Tightness in the skin and swelling in the affected area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there's nothing you can do to, for, to guard against lymphedema. However, every woman should be made aware of the risks before her treatment begins. Seems reasonable, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so this, that was actually from Michael uh, Villeman, who is a, let's see if I can find his title. Um, I think he is a registered lymphatic therapist in the UK. Um, and he uses a special type of massage called manual lymphatic drainage, which I think is what I was showing you in my other video. Um, I, 
either that or those are the simple daily exercises. It doesn't really say what the massage therapy is, so it's kind of hard to know. Um, one thing I did look up, I got to thinking, you know, watching my dog go through the laser treatment on his knees, and I got to thinking, would that help my breast? You know, has this never been done before? Why am I not hearing about this? It seems like it would be such, I don't know, I made the connection that, you know, why wouldn't laser therapy help? It, it seems like laser therapy helps everything these days. Why wouldn't they be doing that for my breast? So I started looking it up and I even did ask the occupational therapist when I went to see her. And she said, they've looked into it, but there hasn't been any proof that it works. Um, I, they being medical studies and whatnot, you know, um, like I'm so fond of quoting. And so I did look it up online afterwards and there are studies done. There are no positive effects. So that's that. It would have been an easy cure, wouldn't it? Um, so self-help. If you do have lymphedema, whether you're treated at your local hospital or seek the services of, uh, they used to the manual lymphatic drainage specialist, um, now where am I again? Oh, there are some self-help measures that can improve things for you. Um, oh, then it just says check resources below. <laughs> yeah. Um, it talks about multi-layer bandaging, which I think is like the vest compression, which um, the occupational therapist said some women do get the compression, the compression vest. And I looked it up online. There's like one on Amazon. There's one on this other site. I, they're just not really out there. And she says they don't really do a lot because you can't really compress the breast. It goes into your body. You know, it doesn't... There's nothing to really, like with an arm, you're compressing down. But with a breast, you're not, you know, it's just, you're not going anywhere. And so it, I could have spent $125 on one to have it do nothing. Of course, I could have spent $125 on one and had it do everything. I don't know, but I don't have $125 right now to spend. So that's a lot of money, and it's like a, Basically, it's like a SWAT team vest. It's big and bulky, and it's not its not like wearing a camisole. It's like this big, the sleeves are, you know, like this big across, and it's got all these Velcro straps that come down and around, and it goes down to below where you can see here. Um, so it just didn't seem, and if there's only one, that kind of tells me that they don't work. Um, you know, otherwise other companies would be making them and selling them. It just doesn't, it, and she said there is no provider for them. None of the, um, the medical supply companies in Hawaii carry them. That kind of tells you there is a reason for that, you know. So, she said they she has had patients order them online from Amazon. You have to guess at the size, you know. But, I don't know. I just felt really iffy about ordering one. I didn't see any positiveness out of it, honestly. So... I mean, I don't know. It might have been something if she could have given me a prescription for one, I could have taken it to a medical supply company and gotten one. That might have been different. But the fact that nobody carries them here in Hawaii, you have to send away for it. And 
You don't order it from a medical supply company. You order it from Amazon. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. And okay, anyway. So, um, there's really not a whole lot else. It says they advise eating a balanced diet and drinking plenty of water to flush out and eliminate toxins. Pretty much do that. Um, you know, and, and that's really it. It, there's not, there's not a whole lot on it. And if one in five women get it, is that what it said? One in five? Or five percent? Um, yeah, one in five women get it. You'd think that there would be more about it. And out of those one in five, how many of them get it in the breast? I Probably a very small proportion because there's even less on that. So it's all very frustrating. Um, but now I'm gonna see if I can adjust this down a little bit more. So yeah, so see it's better angle. It, and see now this side looks bigger and this is the Oh no, actually, I, I'm, my camera is propped up between the things so I can get it to sit right. So I don't have a clear view of me. <laughs> I have, um, the tripod has a, like a grip for the phone and I have to, use it backwards otherwise the camera is looking up at the ceiling um i don't know i can't tell anyway so that's it for today a little bit more about lymphedema and the new bras and presents. the bras are nice the bras are walk hole which i haven't had a walk hole bra in 20 years um it used to be those were the only ones that would fit me you know i'm when i weighed more and i actually wore the triple D um, this is the size breast I had before I lost weight um, actually at one point they were even bigger but there was a time when I wore like a I think it was when I was in a 40 or 42 triple D and walk hole was about the only thing that you could get at the time um, you had to go to Nordstrom you know I, I lived in San Diego for a few months and I remember going shopping with my mother and you know dragging her into the the lingerie department and spending an hour in there while the bra fitter fit me with the wrong size bra and actually actually we took it down to a smaller cup because I kept going larger I don't know anyway that was a walk hole and it was a nice bra and I had it for years because I would not give it up. It costs too much to just give up. So um, now I've got two walk holes and something else I can't remember. But long way from my Playtex. So, all right. Um, so this is it. I can wear my regular clothes again. I don't have to go to the all the camouflage clothes. I was really, I, I mean, I was wearing the same clothes every week because I had, couldn't get into like the sheerer and the, the plainer shirts and dresses because it was just too obvious. And um, the bra I had didn't hide the tattoo that I have. So now I can hide it, it no problem. But, um, so this is it, and feeling a lot better about it. I, I still don't feel 100% about it, but I, I feel less conspicuous going out in public now. So that's something. But um, I have another video scheduled. Well, by the time this posts, you've already seen it. So I'll get something else together in the meantime, and I'll talk to you later. Um, if there's anything you do want to see, put it down below. All right. Bye-bye.